In this live code it, we're going to be creating a class that allows us to create a login account including two inputs, a username and a password. Let's start by creating a new class. We'll call that class login. Now we need to add a prompt so the user knows what they're supposed to be inputting first. Just add a comment here to remind me what that is. Now we need to take input from the user, so we'll create a scanner object called input. And the parameter we're passing is system.in, so we can take information from the console. And we'll also create a string called user to hold the username that they select. And that username will be whatever they typed in. Now before we move on and add in the password, let's just test this out to make sure everything works. Make sure the file name is the same as the name of the class, it is. And we seem to have found an error. It cannot find the symbol and it's pointing to the scanner. I'll give you a moment to catch up if you're still typing and see if you can figure out what's wrong. Okay, so hopefully you've gotten to this point and you may have discovered that we neglected to put an import at the top, so without importing the scanner class, we won't be able to use it in our program. So let's fix that by importing the scanner class. Let's give it another try. It appears to be working now, and I can enter a username. Everything seems to be functioning, so I think we can move forward and add in the password. another prompt to let the user know what they're supposed to be typing in. And another string to hold the password. Since I've already created my scanner object, I'm just going to reuse that. Just work on this incrementally. We'll test it out again. And we'll use a password of test. Okay, so far so good. So. Let's just add one more thing. Since we're adding a password here, we're typically, when we're on a website or creating some sort of account, we have to verify that password, so we'll add that in.
one more string so that we can store the verification. And now we're ready to test out to see whether or not the password actually matches. So if the passwords match, then we can confirm that our account has been created. If the passwords do not match, we will notify the user that the account was not verified. So let's try that out. And if you don't want to see your old tests, you can always just clear. Let's try out our mic, username, password will be test. We will verify that password. And, huh, for some reason it appears that we're getting a result of the password not matching what was entered in for the verification, yet I'm certain, as we can see here, that I typed in test for both of those. We'll have to go back and find out a little bit more about how this is working to figure out why this problem is happening.